So Toronto Police told us a little bit more today about this mysterious tunnel that's been found just south of York University near the Rexall Tennis Centre. Basically what they told us was that it was found sometime on January 14th by a conservation officer who was walking around the area. It's a really uh, heavily wooded area and noticed some suspicious things including uh, a red gas container. Basically when they found the tunnel they discovered that it was quite extensive, quite large. It's about uh, 6 foot 4 in height, 33 feet long and about 2 feet 10 inches wide, so not very wide. Just a short distance away there was another hole um, that had been dug that contained a power generator with extension cords from the power generator to the, the tunnel. So some of the things that they found inside include uh, moisture resistant light bulbs, a pump for removing groundwater, a pulley system that police believe was used to remove some of the dirt that was inside the tunnel, so part of the way that they actually built the tunnel, a uh, red portable gas container, work gloves, a uh, wheelbarrow, and interestingly found inside hanging on uh, a nail that had been put in one of the pieces of plywood was a rosary with a Remembrance Day poppy attached to it. There's nothing right now that suggests that this is uh, criminal. Um, we're trying to find and establish who built it, why they built it, what were their intentions. So Deputy Chief Mark Saunders spoke to the public today about this and he said that right now there is nothing that suggests this is criminal. He was asked about whether there were security concerns to do with this tunnel and the upcoming Pan Am Games and he said the short answer is no. They have a very robust security system in place and that would have been detected by them. In this climate, we as a police agency, we want to make sure that we have all the answers to any question that relates to public safety. And, and that's why we're here today. That's why we're asking for this appeal so that we can get some definitive answers towards who, this, who designed this, why they designed it. And the other factor too, now that we've collapsed this, we don't know whether or not someone is building one somewhere else. So, you know, to the members of the community, you know, if you're walking your dogs or you're in wooded areas, just be more cognizant of your environment. Have a look. If you see something that is suspicious, give us a call. So we'll continue to update you when we get more information. For thestar.com, I'm Wendy Gillis.